Good morning. I had a hard time getting out of bed this morning. If you're woken up, shortly before when you were going to get up and then you go back to bed, that gets to be really uh, deep, comfortable sleep. That it is then uh, hard to get out of. It is ooh, 12 degrees. Not very warm cooled off. There's a breeze. I'm having my coffee. Okay, that's alright. I've obviously let it cool down a little bit. out there. Just the occasional pickup truck going by. So my husband has started uh, siding the renovation, the, 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 the building, the new washer and laundry room. What he started doing yesterday, of course, was the eavesdropping. So there's absolutely no color up yet. And we went to the hospital yesterday to visit my dad, who seems to have survived the hip operation nicely. going to visit him, oh, it was horrible. My mother wasn't there anymore. And my dad is oh, not a conversationalist. Of course, this was, he's in the hospital, he doesn't like hospitals. What are you doing? anyway, I guess. It was gruesome. And then there was my husband who was along and he didn't help at all. And I'm not, I'm not a big conversationalist. I mean, the last few years since, you know, going to teaching, into teaching, I've had to develop some of those, you know, phony skills, real skills, I don't know what you call them. No matter what you do, if the other person doesn't respond, or doesn't respond in the right way, or, you know, and it's a sort of a bleak little room, and oh, yuck. No. Don't think we'll be going back there. I hope he gets out in a few days. Apparently he pulled out his intravenous tubes and he uh, moved from where they had placed him to back into bed. So he did two things that he wasn't supposed to do. Whatever. Guys, can you? Hold it down. Uh, 
I say this six. How's my mother? My mother is secret eighty six. I'm a memory. I'm not a memory person. I have that. My dad's eighty six. Did you see me do my finger thing? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I remember my kids' birth years. I know they remember mine. But when I was a kid, parents didn't talk to their kids. So, uh, I don't have any numbers in my head from them. Cat playing, cat fighting is annoying. So who have I got in here today? Tiger sitting in the chair, which you, you can't see there. Ty is sleeping on the toilet. And Julia and Floyd are having it out in the kitchen. And that's my backup starting up. And this is me avoiding working. Hey, it's quarter to nine. I don't have to start working until nine. How's that? Downstairs, are you? They chase each other throughout the house. Hi, I see you. Where's Fly? Did you eat her? Did you eat her? I can't see her. I can't see Lloyd. I only see. But I don't care. Oh, you disappeared. Anyway, so that was a disastrous visit. I'm gonna have to let my sister know that it was a disastrous visit so that she can sympathize. My sister, the firstborn, much older than I am, 15 years, she has a different relationship with my parents. Just as I have a different relationship with my kids. for different reasons. Basically, I can't stand my parents, and she can. And she understands them and tolerates them. I don't know. Maybe because she's closer in age. I don't know. The gap is so big with me. Uh, still. Or maybe I am more realistic and can see my parents in a different light than my sister can. Anyway, I've never liked my parents. Isn't that great? I remember as a little kid being afraid of my dad. He didn't do anything but a raised voice or anything like that. I just remember being afraid. I don't know. Let's get to work. Actually, I can have a look at some of your videos. That would be better. It's not nine o'clock yet. I don't have to work yet. I've got a soccer game today. My daughter has a soccer game. So 
I'll be able to see her engagement ring. Ooh. I've already seen it on Facebook, but that will be cool. Anyway, talk to you later, folks.